Hello everyone, I'm Link's Eyebrows and welcome back to my Pacifist run of Undertale. First off, I wanted to say, um, I want to apologize for the lack of videos, um, for a good, like, two week period or so. Um, like I stated in the description of, um, I think it was episode 7, uh, that I wasn't doing really good mentally because things had come up with my dog. Um, complications uh, arising and stuff with her recovery after her surgery. Um, things are looking a lot better now. Um, she finally got her cast off after being hospitalized. She was going in for uh, bandage changes like every other day or so. And she finally got her cast off last night, uh, which would be uh, Wednesday uh, the 2nd, because I forget that recording time does not equal um, the release date, which I apologize, but uh, so good news is the puppy is doing a lot better now. Her leg has gotten, um, has shrunk down immensely from what it was. Uh, it used to be like pretty much a giant ball sack hanging off of her leg, but luckily we got that removed and um, the swelling did go down from the initial surgery and the infection and everything and it looks like you can barely even tell there's anything wrong save for like a tiny little scab and now she has to wear a cone so she doesn't lick it and but she's doing so much better now here's the pupper say hi Mika say hi and she's not happy if anything she's really sleepy right now she's been doing a lot of resting but the cone has been something she has not been happy with <laughs> so hopefully she doesn't have to wear it for too much longer now. You also may recognize that this is not my usual room setup. I'm actually sitting on the living room couch because I wanted to spend time with my puppy. So she's going to be sitting in my lap for the next ne next few couple videos. I don't know how long. Um, I'm praying I can finish my pacifist run in this first um, recording session. So I think I've talked for too long and we should probably get started. No, oh, Mika, stop. I need my hand. I need my hand. <laughs> I'm dying. What are you doing? <laughs> the sand's moved all the way up there. Okay. Alright, so we... Muffet. Yes. I'm gonna fight Muffet now. Yeah, we're gonna fight Muffet. Because I came prepared. Forgot about that. Did you hear what they just said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. Oh, it's getting... I heard that they like to tear their legs off. It's so sticky. I heard... That they're awfully stingy with their money. <laughs> you think your taste is too refined for your for our pastries, don't you, dearie? <laughs> I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what the next batch needs. Oh, you know. Where is it? Spider donut. You ate the spider donut. HP was maxed out. Oh, where did you get that? Did you steal it? Oh. My pet, it's time to show them what we do with thieves. Huh? A telegram from the spiders in ruins? What? They're saying they saw you and... You were really passionate about spiders. Oh my, this is a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone who hated spiders. This person that asked... Uh, the person that... I am messing up again, right away. The person who asked for that soul. They must be a different human in the striped shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime and for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet with my pet again. I didn't even get to meet your pet this time. I'll spare you now. Well that was fun to see you again, dearie. <laughs> well that was done in two seconds. And to think, I wasted probably like a half hour last time. Oh, here we go. I forgot what I was saying before I encountered Muffet. I'm so sorry. 
It's a poster for Metatons' latest. Uh, a tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Uh-oh. Oh, that human! Could it be? <laughs> My one true love! I just imagine thunk 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 as he's going down the stairs. faster I could try and sing along, but it's not going fast enough for me to read ahead. Oh, here comes the pedals. die a lot. <laughs> so sad. So sad that you are going to uh, the dungeon. Well, toodles! Boop, there I go. No, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon! A dungeon with puzzles so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Oh heavens, have mercy! The horrible colored tile maze! Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile makes a noise and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will actually wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred times ago? A hundred rooms ago? I don't know why I read that as times. That's right! You'll remember all the <coughs> rules, don't you? Mika, no. It's breaking it. <laughs> it's okay. Great! Then don't waste your time repeating- Then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you'd better hurry, because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... You'll be incinerated by my jets of fire. <laughs> my poor love, I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. He's fallen. Okay, he's singing now. I'm just gonna wait here. I'm not gonna do anything. So sorry, it looks like you're out of time. Here comes the flames, darling. They're closing in. Getting closer. Oh my. Any minute now. <laughs> I don't know how to I don't know how to cough robotically. <laughs> Watch out! I'll save you! I'm hacking into the firewall right now! Oh no, how could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys! <laughs> That's right! Come on, Metatine, give up already! You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over, now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alphys, darling! What are you talking about? Did you forget that the green tiles do? 
They they make a sound, and you have to fight a monster. Well, darling. Well, well, well. Welly, well, well. Well, welly, well, 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 welly. You never stepped on a green tile. And now you're going to die. Oh boy. Wait, no. What were my actions again? Yell. You yell. Nothing happened. Okay. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You better answer it. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's just one last thing I installed in your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to the phone's act menu and press it. Yellow. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's present. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. <gasps> I'm yellow now. Now press Z! Oh! Oh! You've defeated me. How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. Whatever. Bye. Looks like you beat him. You did a really good job out there. Mm, do I want to humor her? Uh, I want to be friends with her, yeah. What? Oh no, I mean... You were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs on your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but... Can I tell you something? Before I met you, I did, didn't really... Didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Like I couldn't do anything without... Without ending up letting everyone down. But, but uh, gu guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So, thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, uh, we're almost at the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Here we go. I know there is a way to finish the puzzle, but I'm just cannot even be bothered to try. Maybe I'll try in one of my other neutral runs, but... Hey, it's you again! Business is excellent here. These two fellows thought or bought all of my ice cream. Yeah, all of my ice cream. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait. I still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Oh, hey. We're, like, taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like... Don't tell Undyne about this, okay? What? Oh, what? And O2 are slacking off? Come on! <laughs> they should be killing you right now. Not that I want them to, I mean. But they can at least try, you know? <laughs> I'm so glad. Hey, hey, did you remember my name? Yes. What? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. What kind of R and L? Stand for right and left, right? No way, that makes no sense. Because if you face the opposite way, they'd be wrong. This is true. Undyne has a point. Oh, I should have called them during the thing- Oh, wait, hold on. I can't believe you got to dance with Metaton! Big deal. Earlier the human and I danced with death. <laughs> wow! Is death cool? Yeah, she's like super hot. I can dig it. I can dig it. Oh, hey, it's Sans! Oh, what's this? Hey. Go to the creepy alley on the right for some great deals. Okay. Sans! Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah. Great, thanks for treating me. Over here. I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, Butto. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. 
Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. It's wait. Nah. Is what you have to do really worth it? Hi, Mika. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Hey, baby girl. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Yeah. Lay down. There you go. Ah, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So, I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door, and it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say knock-knock, and suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? So naturally, I respond, Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. And then she howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep him coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know that you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. She kept telling- we kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kinda cranky without his bedtime story. Aw. But she told me to come by again, so I did. And then again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes to the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much, so I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human comes down through the, the store, could you please, please promise me something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? No, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but... Someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has in- has a, eh, has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything, buddy? You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. I have died twice, if I recall correctly. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Eh. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. With that conclusion, that's all the time I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you in the next video. See ya!